these are my old headphones. They don't sound too bad, but they have one problem, ignoring of course the broken rubber. That problem is the volume control that makes a distorted sound each time you turn it. For that reason, I'll attempt to remove the volume control entirely as a fun challenge. There are just two screws holding this plastic enclosure containing both the volume control knob and the microphone on-off switch. I needed to pop off the decorative part of the switch carefully to not break it. And then by pulling slowly, this top part comes off revealing a PCB, a switch, a potentiometer and the thinnest wires ever seen. Now I'll need to remove the other plastic cover and carefully turn the PCB upside down to see the traces on it. I'm going to make sure to check which connection goes where with the help of a short wire and sound coming from the computer. While I jump the connection, I am listening to which of the headphones the sound is going to. and marking it down. Now what's left to do is to solder a jumper wire between the solder joints. The ones in the middle don't need any wires since they are so close together, I can just join them with solder. By the way, always remember to solder in a well ventilated place, you don't want to breathe the smoke. And I'm not an expert soldering, as you can see. There, all done. Now these headphones can continue being used without having an unstable volume. Yes, I am ignoring the rubber for now. Thanks for watching.